Hey guys, Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. A very quick haul today. This is last Sunday's car boot video. Sorry it's so late. I've finally got around to listing everything and doing my research, so let's get started. I spent £16, 50p and 50p, and then £15 from Steve for the rest. Onyx Marble Wine Glass, 50p, an easy £10 or so. I can never keep this stuff in stock that long. It sells like hotcakes for me. But only get it if it's cheap. Don't spend up on it. Cheap, cheap, cheap is the best way to get it because not all of it is worth something. A very nice vintage pressed glass bonbon, not bonbon. <laughs> potpourri bowl. I got bonbon on my mind for some reason. Vintage potpourri bowl or fruit bowl. Footed, a nice sunflower yellow or golden yellow. The camera isn't doing it justice at the moment. But yeah, 50p into about £12. Lots of carnival glass, you'll notice. This one, I believe, is Imperial Rays pattern, or Imperial Lime. I can never remember the actual name. I've got that one up for £8, just a nice little dish. Soapstone. A footed soapstone bold dish. I've used every single keyword I can think of. Bonbon, trinket, uh, jewellery holder, anything. But if you know what this shape is, please do let me know, because I could not remember what this shape was. It's like a Greek dish with a stand. I couldn't remember it, but I've, I I want to know what it is so I can add to the listing. Vintage Poodles. That one is a bit freaky. And that one's a bit kinky with his chain. But yeah, they're all a little bit worse for wear. I'm just selling the bundle of four for £7. Portugal Pottery. Haven't had Portugal in a while. I don't have much left in stock of this anymore. I do sort of like hot cakes. A nice Latisse basket for... I was would to presume it's like a holder for something. I did see someone list one of these in a different uh, colourway with a plant in. So maybe it could be a plant holder as well. Like a spider plant coming out the sides. About £12 I think I on that one. This looks very brown on camera. I don't know if it's because I've got orange, like a yellow orange screen on uh, for my eyes. But it is a lilac purpley colour. I do promise you that. A very nice pressed glass footed, uh, like, uh, cotton wool holder or, uh, like a dressing table kind of thing, maybe. This is a custom piece. It was footed. It's now been fixed. I assume one of the feet broke or something, so they just changed them all or cut them all off. Very iridescent, shiny. I, was, I would assume it's now like a fruit bowl, just like a table bowl decoration kind of piece. A USSR horse. The company that makes it starts with an L. It's like Luminoso or Lovosco. I'm not always sure on the pronunciation, but it is stamped uh, USSR on the base. The white horse sells for double than the brown. No idea why, but um, they're still both worth looking out for. About £8 on that one, plus postage. This has been annoying me for a few days. There is this exact bowl on eBay and Etsy about four times. No one knows the print or the the, um, the pattern name. No one knows it. So I've just had to list it without the pattern name. But if anyone recognises the pattern name, please do let me know. It's just a really nice uh, handkerchief edged bowl. And there's the underside. That's up for about eight pounds, I believe. A sizer. There's the mark. Sizer, or Caesar, however you want to pronounce it. Medallion fronted, posy vase. Sold one of these before, they don't sell for loads. This one goes for about 4 99 plus postage. But I've sold one before, I know what it is, I know how to list it. It doesn't bother me too much. Easy to list things I will always pick up, like this thing here. Only worth about 4 99 but I've already got one listed. I've just copied the listing, changed it to a pheasant and a grouse, and it's done. It took me about 10 seconds to list that with a new photograph. So if it's easy to list, I will always grab it. And it's fill a bag, so I need to fill it up to get my um, average costing down. Some 3D boat navy bookends. They're not that heavy, so I think they're more decorative than actual, like, usable. Sadly, one is slightly damaged, you can see there. But it's not overly noticeable, if I do it like that. Just because the, the white of the sort of, like, plaster is similar to the background. So it's not overly that bad. This stuff took me about an hour to find as well as the carnival glass. It's been a very fun week. 
Uh, this, in the end, I worked out is a vintage American depression glass. It's made by Janet or Janet, however you want to pronounce it. It's called the iris pattern, and these are uh, berry bowls. There's five of them. Sadly, they all have a knock here or there, so I'm selling the bundle of five for ten pounds, but it's still a good value on five for berry. But, uh, blah, 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 blah. Still a good value, uh, sales value on five berry dishes. And the bowl here, again, only worth about eight pounds, but it's got a lovely iris pattern all the way around. And it's like a slightly watered down orange color, which is not the best description, but it's orange, but it's like a very slight orange shade. This would have been good, but sadly I picked it up here, so I did not notice the sun bleaching. Um, I'm selling this for about a fiver. Would be worth more if I can be bothered to re like stain it. I don't have stains, so I'd have to go and buy some. It's not worth it to me. I'm sure someone can fix that though and sell it for maybe more if they wanted to. But yeah, five pounds, not bad. More carnival glass. This is the curved star, I believe, or curved starburst pattern. And if you want to know how I found the pattern names, I went, I just uh, Googled carnival pattern names and a load of American websites came up with them all listed. And you just have to go through and find the item that you have. So this was a bowl and it will say all of the possible prints. You just go through them and find out which one you have. Yeah, this is up for about eight pounds, I believe. It's not worth a lot, carnival glass these days, but a nice sort of fruit bowl. And finally, a very nice cottage core doily. I believe it's about 25 centimetres across or 30 centimetres across. I just loved it. Uh, it does need a really good wash, but I don't know how to wash doilies, so I'm going to leave that to the new owner to do. Uh, but to me, kind of like the the fading and the slightly dirtiness is all part of a doily. It just shows its age and how it's been loved and everything. So, yeah, it's up to them if they want to clean it. I like it as it is. Um, this looks a lot brighter in the camera than it does in real life so it does look better on camera but yeah that's in my shop for about 14 pounds like i said link down below if you want to have a little stalk i don't mind and uh yeah that's everything listed hopefully i'll be back this sunday with another car boot haul a lot sooner than uh this one i apologize but i'll see you all next week take care